peas and thank you. Granny and Grandpa Pig are having breakfast at Peppa's house. Mummy, may I have some juice, please? Of course you may, Peppa. Thank you. <coughs> well, I never. It says here that children today are very rude. Would you like some juice, George? Please. Thank you. It says children have no manners and never say please and thank you. Oh, Pepper and George always say please and thank you, don't you? Yes, Grandpa. <laughs> I'm very glad to hear that because please and thank you are very important words. In fact, they are magic. Magic? Oh, yes. Nice things happen when you say please and thank you. Please, please, please. No, George. You only say please when you ask for something. And you say thank you when someone does something for you. Thank you, thank you, thank <laughs> you, thank you. Oh, oh, it's time to go to playgroup. <laughs> <laughs> Is everybody ready? Yes, Daddy Pig! Then let's go! Thank you! This is Peppa's playgroup. Mr Bull is cutting the grass. The grass is looking lovely, Mr Bull. Oh, thank you, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Good morning, children. Good, Good morning, morning, Madam Gazelle. Let me introduce you to the Being Nice Tree. What does it do? When someone is nice, I put a picture of them in the branches. Ooh! How do we be nice? There are lots of ways to be nice. <coughs> Madame Gazelle, I know some magic words that are nice. Please and thank you. Oh, yes! The magic words. Please tell us about them. If you want something, you need to say please. <coughs> and if somebody gives you something, you say thank you. Very good. Oh, this is something we can all practice with a little game. I will need two children. Susie Sheep <laughs> and Danny Dog. <coughs> now, Susie has an apple. Thank you, Madame Gazelle. Very good, Susie. And Danny would like that apple. Yes, I would like that apple. OK, Danny, ask Susie for the apple. Can I have that apple? Yes. Mmm, yummy. Let's try that again. When you ask for something, Danny, you must remember to say the magic word. Abracadabra. No. What is the magic word, children? Please. Oh, yes. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Then off you go. Can I have that apple, please? No. Susie. He's already got an apple. This is not about apples. It is about saying please. OK. Here's another apple. And now, Danny? What? The other magic word. Oh, yes. Thank you. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Feet, legs and knees I like saying please, please, please Thank you so much for that thing Thank you makes me want to sing Hairs, feet, legs and knees I like saying please, please, please Thank you so much for that thing Thank you makes me want to sing Hairs, feet, legs and knees I like saying please, please, please Thank you so much for that thing Thank you makes me want to sing <laughs> What wonderful singing, children! You will all go on the Being Nice tree Hooray! <laughs> I finished cutting the grass, Madam Gazelle. Very good, Mr. Bull. Goodbye. <laughs> Madam Gazelle! What? What is it? You forgot to say thank you. Oh, yes. How rude of me. Thank you, Mr. Bull, for all your hard work. It was my pleasure. And thank you, children, for reminding me to say my please and thank yous. <laughs> Madam Gazelle likes to say please and thank you. Everyone <laughs> likes to say please and thank you. Valentine's Day. It is morning. Peppa and her family are having breakfast. Do you know what today is, Peppa? Is it my birthday? No. Is it your birthday? No, it's Valentine's Day. What's that? On Valentine's Day, you tell the people you love 
that you love them. Usually with a special card, like this. Happy Valentine's Day, Mummy Pig. Oh, thank you, Daddy Pig. Roses are red, violets are blue, you are so lovely, and I love you. Hugs and kisses, Snufflekins. Oh, I love you too, Daddy Pig. Oh, ho, ho. Mummy, do you have a card for Daddy? <coughs> oh, I gave it to Mr Zebra the Postman. You gave a Valentine's card to Mr Zebra the Postman? Yes, he'll deliver it with the post today. Oh, I see. It is time for playgroup. Mr Bull is cleaning the windows. <laughs> Good morning, children. Good morning, Madame Gazelle. Does anybody know what today is? It's window cleaning day. Apart from it being window cleaning day? It's Valentine's Day. Very good, Pepper. It is the day to give cards to the people we love. My daddy didn't get one this morning. What? Oh, how sad. I've finished cleaning the windows, Madam Gazelle. Thank you, Mr Bull. Oh, dear. You look sad. Oh, I just heard that Daddy Pig did not get a Valentine card. No Valentine's card? No. Goodbye, Mr Bull. Goodbye. Children, today we will all make Valentine's cards for the people we love. Yay! I'm going to make a Valentine's card for my mummy and daddy. I'm making a Valentine's card for my mummy and daddy. <laughs> I'm making a Valentine's card for Super Potato. And one for my mummy and daddy. <laughs> Mr. Bull has gone to the supermarket. Hello, Mr. Bull. You look sad. Well, I heard this morning that Daddy Pig didn't get a Valentine's card. No. Really? Did you hear that, Dr. Hamster? Daddy Pig didn't get a Valentine's card. Ah, oh, poor Pickle. Did you hear? Daddy Pig did not get a Valentine's card. Oh, dear. What was that? Nobody's ever given Daddy Pig a Valentine's card. <gasps> <laughs> Finish, Madame Gazelle. What wonderful cards, children. I am sure whoever gets them will be very happy. <laughs> it is home time. <laughs> mummy, Mummy, we made Valentine's cards for you and Daddy. Oh, lovely. Pepper and George have arrived home. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, Daddy. For me? Yes, Valentine. <laughs> Fantastic. Did you get a card for Mummy yet? No, not yet. Ah, Mr Zebra. Busy day? A very busy day indeed. Look at this sack. Full of Valentine's cards. Have you got a card for me? No, I haven't got a card for you. Oh. I've got a whole sack full. Ooh. There are hundreds of Valentine's cards, <laughs> all for Daddy Pig. Hooray! Daddy Pig, who sent you all these Valentine's cards? Oh, it wasn't you. No, I sent you this one. With love from Mummy Pig. Who sent all the rest? Um... Happy Valentine's Day, Daddy Pig! Everyone has sent Daddy Pig a Valentine's card. Oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> Pepper, George and Mummy Pig love Daddy Pig. Everyone loves Daddy Pig. <laughs> George's racing car. It is a lovely sunny day at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Pepper, George, Daddy and Grandpa are inside watching racing cars on television. <coughs> Come on, car number two. It's neck and neck coming up to the finish. <coughs> what a lot of noise. This is so exciting. Car number two is a must. Ah, that's better. The race was almost finished. <coughs> Switch it back on. Wow. That was an exciting end to a race. I'm so glad I didn't miss the finish. See, it's finished. It's such a lovely day. You should all go outside and play. Yes, Granny Pig. 
So, what are we going to play? George wants to play racing cars. I know. Let's build George a racing car. <laughs> Can you really make a racing car, Daddy? No. But Grandpa Pig can. What? Uh, OK. I'll make a racing car for George. <laughs> this is Grandpa Pig's shed, where he makes things. What have we got here? Ah, an old pram. No, George isn't a baby, Grandpa. We only need the pram's wheels, Pepper. Ooh. This bit can be the bonnet. And this can be the seats. What's your favourite number, George? George's favourite number is two. Oh, this racing car will be super fast. Hooray! Don't make it go too fast, Grandpa. George is only little. Don't worry, Pepper. This will be a pedal car, not a motor car. Ah! Next, we need a steering wheel. Last of all, you need racing goggles and a hat. <laughs> it's George's racing car! <laughs> Here are Danny Dog, Zoe Zebra and Pedro Pony. Hello, everyone. Look at George's racing car. Wow! I'll race you. And me. And me. I want to race too. Where's your racing car, Peppa? I don't have a racing car. Don't worry, Peppa. You can be the chief mechanic. What does that do? You fix George's car if it goes wrong. Oh, goody. <sniffs> I hope it goes wrong a lot. <laughs> Let's start the race. Three times round the garden. Ready? <laughs> Steady? Go! And they're off. Come on, George. George. That's the end of lap one, and George is in the lead. What's all this noise out here? I'm trying to watch television. We're having a race, Granny. That's the end of lap two, and George is still in the lead. <laughs> oh, dear. A wheel has come off George's car. Where's the chief mechanic? Here I am. What do we do? Put the wheel back on. OK, okay chief mechanic. mechanic. Yeah. Yeah. Go, George, go! Oh, dear. George is now at the back of the race. Pedal faster, George! Come, Come on, George! George. Is the winner! Hooray! Well done, George! You're the best racing driver in the whole world! <laughs> and you've got the best chief mechanic in the whole world, too! Yes, that's me! <laughs> <laughs> Mandy Mouse! Pepper and her friends are at Playgroup. They are drawing pictures. Children, today we have a visitor. Ooh! Mandy Mouse. Hello, everyone. Squeak! Hello. Hello! Mandy Mouse uses a wheelchair to get around. Mandy is spending the day at our playgroup. If she likes it, she will come every day. See you later, Mandy. Have fun. Bye, Mummy. Hello, Mandy. I'm Peppa Pig. Hello, Peppa. Hello, I'm Danny Dog. <coughs> and I'm Susie Sheep. <laughs> We're drawing pictures. I drew the sun. Ooh. I drew a cloud. Ooh. I drew the sky. That's nice. I like drawing aeroplanes. Wow! That's a really good drawing. Thank you. <laughs> It is playtime. <laughs> that was fun. Wow, you're fast. All thanks to my wheelchair. <laughs> 
Why do you have a wheelchair, Mandy? <coughs> because my legs don't work like yours. Can you walk on your legs? No, I have my wheels. <laughs> See, I get around fine. I can do everything. Squeak! <laughs> <laughs> Let's play ball. Yes, please. Squeak! OK, Mandy. You're on my team. <laughs> Susie, you're on my team. <laughs> Gerald, <laughs> Pedro, <laughs> Molly <Squeak>. and Emily. <laughs> the children are in two teams. How do you play this game? The captain takes the ball and throws it over there. No, I know the rules and you're the not one no, holding them. I say wrong. you do it this that way. That is the rules because I said so. <laughs> <laughs> what about the team who gets the ball through the hoop wins? <laughs> OK. <laughs> and they're off. <laughs> Emily Elephant catches the ball. <laughs> now Susie has it. <laughs> Pass to Pedro. And now to Pepper. Mandy takes the ball. Pass to Danny. <laughs> to Molly. And up high in the sky. Caught by Mandy Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> to Gerald Giraffe. <laughs> Goal! Hooray! Mandy, you're good. I know, I'm brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Children, playtime is over. <laughs> <laughs> can I help you? No, I'll be fine. <laughs> I can do it by myself. I like hills. It is a big hill. Yes, it is a big hill. Maybe if you could help push. OK. Thank you, Peppa. I could do it on my own, but it's easier with two. I'm not used to big hills. Where I lived before, it was all flat. Everything is on a hill around here. My house is on a hill. The supermarket is on a hill. Rebecca Rabbit lives inside a hill. <laughs> it's all hills, hills, hills. <laughs> have we all had fun today, children? Yes! <laughs> the parents have arrived to pick up the children. Aw, is it home time already? Yes, Mandy. It's home time. Hello, my sweet. Mummy. So, Mandy, you came today to see if you liked our playgroup. Yes. And do you like our playgroup? Yes, I love it. And would you like to come every day? Yes, please. Hooray! <laughs> Mandy Mouse loves the playgroup and everyone at playgroup loves Mandy Mouse. <laughs> Hello, Daddy Pig speaking. Monsieur Pig, come on, tally vous Oh, something's wrong with the phone. Qu'est-ce que t'en fais-tu, la Grande Bretagne? Il y a de la pluie, du soleil. You see, the phone's talking nonsense. Hello, come on, tally vous Hello, Monsieur. Est-ce que Delphine peut rester pour un jour? Oui. Elle vient juste de prendre le train. Au revoir. That was Monsieur Donkey. He was speaking French. Ah, I thought as much. <laughs> Mummy, what did Monsieur Donkey say? He asked if little Delphine Donkey could visit us. Oh, goody. Delphine Donkey is Peppa's very special friend from France. Delphine's coming to practice talking English with us. Hooray! We'd better hurry. Delphine's train is arriving any minute. <laughs> Bonjour means hello in French. Bonjour. <laughs> oh, bonjour. Bonjour, Mr. Donkey. My goodness, is that huge case for Delphine? Yes, Delphine has brought a few little things for her visit. Things you do not have over here. Cheese, bread, tomatoes, water. <laughs> oh. Au revoir, Delphine. I will be back to pick you up tomorrow night. Where shall I put Delphine's luggage? In my room, at the very top of the house. Oh. <laughs> oh. And this luggage is for one night's stay? Oh, yes. 
That is why I only pack a little bag. Oh. Now, Delphine is here to practice talking English, so we must all help her. Yes, Mummy. <coughs> First, I must say sorry. I do not speak English very well. You don't speak too badly. You are very kind, Monsieur Pig. But may I ask you a question about talking English? Of course. <coughs> I'm an expert at talking. Ask away. Are English split infinitives a form of irregular verb or past pronoun? Uh... Actually, it's quite late. Shall we set up Delphine's bed? Mummy, Mummy, can Delphine sleep in my bed with a pillow at each end? Good idea, Pepper. Pepper and Delphine are sleeping at each end of the same bed. <laughs> <laughs> now, children, try to go to sleep. You've got a busy day tomorrow. Delphine is visiting your playgroup. Wow! Dormez bien. Dormez bien is French for sleep well. I'm not sleepy at all. <laughs> Let's sing a little song to make us sleepy. Yes! Oh. Frère Jacques, Frère Jacques, dormez-vous, dormez-vous, sonnez les matines. Delphine's pretty French song has sent everyone to sleep. Ding, ding, ding. Delphine has come to visit Peppa's playgroup. <laughs> <laughs> Madame Gazelle, this is my French friend, Delphine Donkey. Bonjour. Ah, bonjour, Delphine. Delphine sang a pretty French song last night. Can we teach her an English song? How about the Bing Bong song? Yes, sing me this Bing Bong song. It would be good for my English. OK. Ooh. We're playing a tune and we're singing a song with a bing and a bong and a bing. Lots of new English words. Bing, bong, bingly, bangly, boo! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Scarecrow. Peppa and George are playing at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house today. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Grandpa Pig. Papa Egg. Oh, oh. Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. <laughs> Papa, what are you doing? I'm making a flower garden. Ooh! These seeds will grow into beautiful flowers. I drop the seeds on the ground. Then I cover the seeds with earth. Oh, where have they gone? The seeds have disappeared. That's strange. I'm sure I put some seeds here. Yes, Grandpa. We saw you. <coughs> Well, they're not here now. Oh, well, I'll just have to use some more. As I was saying, I simply drop the seeds on the ground. A little bird is eating Grandpa Pig's flower seeds. Oi! Get off my seeds! So that's where all my seeds went. Into the little bird's tummy. <laughs> Two more little birds are eating Grandpa Pig's seeds. Oh, look! Ah! Shoo, shoo! What's all this noise? Granny Pig, the birds are eating all my flower seeds. So we're chasing the birds away. There's no point chasing them. They'll just come back again. Look! We need a scarecrow. What's a scarecrow? A scarecrow is a straw man that scares birds away. What a good idea, Granny Pig. I'll make one. Come on, everyone. Bye-bye, little birds. We're going to make a scarecrow. <laughs> this is Grandpa Pig's garden shed. There'll be plenty of things in here to make a scarecrow. First, we need two sticks and some string. We'll find them. <laughs> Pepper has found some sticks. George has found some string. Good. 
I'll tie the sticks together to make the body. Granny Pig has found some straw and an old sack. Lovely. I'll put the straw in the sack to make the head. <laughs> now the scarecrow needs something to wear. Here's a bag of old clothes. Ooh. George has found a dress. <laughs> Silly George. Mr Scarecrow doesn't want to wear a dress. <laughs> Pepper has found a coat. Very good, Pepper. George has found a hat. Very good, George. Mr Scarecrow needs a face. That's right. Would you and George like to paint a face? Yes, please. <laughs> George paints the eyes and nose. Pepper paints the mouth. Fantastic! Mr Scarecrow is ready. Hooray! The little birds are looking for Grandpa Pig's flower seeds. Look! The little birds are back. Don't worry, Pepper. Mr Scarecrow will scare them off. It worked. Mr Scarecrow has scared the little birds away. Hooray! Good. Now my flower seeds will not be eaten. Oh, Grandpa, the birds look very sad. Yes, they must be hungry. That's why I've brought this. What's that, Granny? It's a bird feeder. Grandpa, may I have some seeds, please? Come on, birdies. Lunchtime. Now the birdies have their own seeds to eat. Hooray! The little birds are happy again. <laughs> Peppa is glad that Grandpa Pig's seeds will not be eaten. But she is even more glad that the little birds will not be hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. <laughs> there, finished. Pepper, what a wonderful picture you have painted. It is me and George and my mummy and daddy at our house. But where are you all? I can only see a house. We are all inside the house. Of course. It really is a wonderful picture. Here is a playgroup star. <laughs> Wow! Thank you, Madam Gazelle. It is home time and the parents have come to collect the children. Mummy! Daddy, look! I've got a playgroup star. That's fantastic, Pepper. I remember Madam Gazelle gave me a playgroup star when I was a little piggy. A long time ago, when Mummy and Daddy Pig were little, Madam Gazelle was their teacher. <laughs> Here is a playgroup star. <laughs> I was so happy. Did you get lots of playgroup stars, Mummy? Oh, yes. <coughs> Daddy, did you get lots of playgroup stars too? Uh, it was such a long time ago. I really can't remember. No, I'm pretty sure you didn't get one, did you? <gasps> you never got a playgroup star, Daddy! No. I never did get a playgroup star. Not even a little one? No. Anyway, like Daddy Pig said, it was a long time ago, Pepper, And they're really not that important. What do you mean, Mummy? They are very important, aren't they, Daddy? Uh, yes, Pepper. Are you sad that you never got a playgroup star, Daddy? Well... I have done other things in my life to be proud of, you know. Maybe if you do a good drawing and show Madam Gazelle, she will give you one now. Playgroup stars are for children, Pepper, not for grown-ups. There! The roof is all fixed. Thank you, Mr Bull. That really is wonderful work. Have a playgroup star. Oh, thank you very much. Look, Daddy, Mr. Bull's got a star and he's a grown-up. Hmm. It is evening time. Pepper and George are going to bed. Are you still sad because you never got a playgroup star, Daddy? You know what, Pepper? 
The more I think about it, the more I think I should have got a playgroup star. Why? Because I love to make things, and I was always drawing in class. What was your best drawing, Daddy? Would you like to see it? I think I've still got it somewhere. I'm sure I put it in the loft. Ah, here's my old school bag. And here is my picture. Wow, it's a dragon. Grr. It's very good, Daddy. <laughs> yes, I was quite pleased with it. But it didn't get a star. Nope. Hmm, that's sad. It is the next day. Pepper and George are going to playgroup. <laughs> Look at this, Susie. <sniffs> it's not fair, Peppa. You're too good at drawing. It's not my drawing. It's my daddy's. Oh, not so good for a grown-up. <laughs> he drew it a long time ago when he was little. Ah. Peppa, have you done another wonderful drawing? No, Madam Gazelle. This is my daddy's drawing. Ah, oh, yes. I remember your daddy did like to draw. But you never gave him a playgroup star. I must have given him one for this. No, you didn't. Daddy Pig, you deserve a playgroup star. Ho, oh, oh, ho. I've never been so proud. <laughs> daddy Pig is a playgroup star. Hooray for Daddy Pig! <laughs> <laughs> Great big Crawly Safari! Madam Gazelle is taking Pepper and her friends on a school trip. Today, children, we are going on a creepy crawly safari. Ooh. Madam Gazelle, Pedro isn't here. Pedro Pony, why are you always late? There he is. Sorry I'm late. Stephen wanted to come too. Stephen? He's my stick insect. OK, you can bring Stephen, but it's your job to look after him. Thank you, Madame Gazelle. <laughs> Is everybody ready? Yes, Madame Gazelle! Then let's go! <laughs> Here is the Creepy Crawly Safari. Will we see big, scary animals on the safari? Oh, no, Danny. Any creatures we see today will be very tiny and not scary at all. Roar. Ah! Here is Mr Lion. Hello, everyone. Hello, Mr Lion. Welcome to my safari. Mr Lion. You startled me for a moment. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that, Mrs. Wildebeest. The name is Madame Gazelle. Oh, silly me. I must try and remember. Gazelle, not wildebeest. The children are very excited about the safari. Great. Today, they will meet little insects living in their natural home, the wild. Stephen doesn't live in the wild. Ah, we have a pet insect with us today. How do you do, Stephen? Stephen says, how do you do? Marvellous. All aboard for the Creepy Crawly Safari. <laughs> Here we are in the wild wood, full of creepy crawlies. I can't see any creepy crawlies. Here, try using a magnifying glass. A magnifying glass <laughs> makes tiny things look big. Ah, oh, a ladybird. <laughs> oh, how charming. Yes, and the ladybird's home is this leaf. Stephen lives with me at my home. We watch TV together. <laughs> mm, it sounds like Stephen has a very comfy life. Yes, Stephen is very happy. Next stop, the rocky wilderness. Here we get to meet another insect in its natural home. What is it? A millipede. It has lots and lots of spiky little legs, so it can walk quickly. Stephen doesn't do much walking. So what does he do? He keeps still and looks like a stick. Ah! And now we arrive at the grass savanna, the home of a very special little insect. Oh, my word! Grasshoppers! Ooh. <laughs> Are they super 
are jumpers. <laughs> they are. Wow! Grasshoppers move quickly. Hey, wait for me. <laughs> That's the thing about insects. One moment they're here, the next they're gone. Ah, Stephen's gone. <gasps> Stephen the stick insect has run away. Oh, no. Where can he be? Maybe Stephen heard the call of the wild. But Stephen lives with me. He doesn't like the wild. Don't worry, he can't have got far. Yes, everyone look for Stephen. Remember, Stephen looks like a stick. Is this him? No. Is this him? No. Is this him? No. Oh dear, Stephen is lost in the wild. Maybe it's for the best, hmm? All animals are happier following their natural instincts, Mrs. Wildebeest. The name is Gazelle. Of course, yes, Gazelle. <laughs> Look, Stephen's come back. Welcome home, Stephen. Stephen the stick insect likes the creepy crawly safari, but he likes his own home the best. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are at playgroup with their friends. Children, today we are going to play with hoops. Ooh. Playing with hoops is a super fun way to exercise. And exercise is good for you. Yes, exercise gets your body working and your heart pumping. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Take a hoop each. <laughs> there are lots of ways to exercise with a hoop. We will start by throwing it into the air like this. Hoopla! And catch. Now you try. Hoopla! <laughs> Very good. Now let's try rolling your hoops along the floor and running after them. <laughs> now lie your hoops on the ground. Add jump from one hoop to the other. Jump, 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 jump. Jump, 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 Everyone is trying to spin their hoops. Madame Gazelle, I can't do it. It's not working. My hoop is not very spinny. It is difficult to spin a hoop around your middle. Don't be sad if you cannot do it straight away. It takes a lot of practice to get it right. It is home time. Take your hoops and practice at home, children. <laughs> Look, Mummy, we've got hoops to take home. Oh, wonderful. Daddy, Daddy, look what we've got. Wow, hoops. They are for exercise. I see. Madam Gazelle says exercise makes your heart go, uh, boom, bang, boom. That sounds great. You throw them up in the air like this. Hoopla! Hoopla! And catch them like this. Very good, Daddy. And you roll them like this. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> and you jump on them like this. <laughs> oh, that looks fun. You can do it too, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that was good. My heart is certainly going boom, bang, boom. <laughs> but the best thing ever is to spin the hoop like this. Oh. Uh, it's very hard to do. May I have a go? OK. But don't be sad if you can't do it, Mummy. Right, here we go. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Mummy Pig can spin the hoop. Wow! Very good! Have a 
have another go, Peppa. Ready, steady, go. Ah, uh, I'll never do it. I've got an idea. Hold on, don't move. Where is Daddy going now? <laughs> I think this will do it. You've got to spin. What you need is music to spin to. Ready, steady, go. Hooray! <laughs> Peppa can spin her hoop. George can spin his hoop. We're doing it, George. <laughs> you clever piggies. Peppa and George love spinning hoops. Everybody loves spinning hoops. <laughs> Nursery rhymes. Peppa and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today we are doing nursery rhymes. Ooh! Who has a favourite nursery rhyme? My favourite is Mary had a little lamb. Oh, yes! Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, Mary went. One. It had a sheep in it. <laughs> that was lovely, Pepper. Thank you. Who else has a favourite nursery rhyme? I like Little Bo Peep. And can you sing Little Bo Peep? Yes. And it goes like this. <gasps> Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. I don't like that one. It's about sheep getting lost. It's too sad. Yes. Does anyone know a nursery rhyme that isn't about sheep? Me, me. Yes, Pedro. <gasps> ba ba black sheep. Oh, sorry. I know one about a cat. Oh, splendid candy. Can you share it with us? <clears throat> hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. <laughs> Dishes running away with spoons and cows jumping over moons? Crazy stuff! <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? I know a rhyme about a mouse. Very good, Freddy. Hickory dickory dog, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dog. <laughs> oh, that one makes a lot more sense. Mice do like to run around. Madam Gazelle, I know a rhyme that has numbers in it. Excellent, Wendy. Please share it with the class. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Which finger? Little finger on my right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the poor little fish was frightened. It was kind to throw it back. Madam Gazelle? Yes, Pedro? I like Robin Hood. Okay. And does Robin Hood have a rhyme? Yes. Robin Hood lived in a wood. He was very good at jumping in mud. <laughs> Very good, Pedro. I made it up myself. <laughs> Madam Gazelle, I know a rhyme about marching. <laughs> we have to go outside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the grand old Duke of York. He had ten thousand men. He marched them up to the top of the hill. Good exercise. Madam Gazelle, do you have a favourite nursery rhyme? But of course, Pedro. Would you all like to sing it with me? Yes, please. Everybody, hold hands. <laughs> <laughs> ring a ring a roo, 
bruises. The pocket full of bruises. A tissue, a tissue, we all fall down. <laughs> Peppa loves nursery rhymes. Everybody loves nursery rhymes. The children's fates. Peppa and her friends are at playgroup. Mr. Bull is checking the school roof. Moo! Who put this roof on for you? Uh, you did, Mr. Bull. Lovely job. It will last you a lifetime. But it is leaking water. Look, it is going drippity drip. You need a new roof. Oh, dear. Where are we going to get the money for a new school roof? We can do a school fight to get the money. Good idea, Danny. But who would run it? We can. Yes, the children can do it. <laughs> I can do the face painting. I can do the microphone. <laughs> we can have a mummy's and daddy's race. And I can sell balloons. Yes, we will have a children's fate. Hooray! It is the day of the children's fate. All the grown-ups are here. Hello, grown-ups! Danny Dog is in charge of the microphone. Get your money out for the new school roof! Emily Elephant is in charge of the bric-a-brac stall. Roll up! Roll up! All sorts of bits and bobs! What a lot of bric-a-brac, Emily! You will be busy all day selling it. Here is Mr Fox. Mmm! This all looks very interesting. Balloons! Lovely balloons! Would you like a balloon, Madame Gazelle? May I have a red one? How much is it? How much have you got? Oh, of course! We are raising money for the school roof. Look, Madame Gazelle! I've got rid of everything! Wonderful, Emily! How much money have you raised? Money? Did you not get some money for the bits and bobs? I didn't need to. Mr Fox took it away for nothing. <laughs> get your face painted here. Susie Sheep is in charge of the face painting stall. Hello, Susie. Can I be a mountain leopard, please? No, I can only do fruit. OK, can I be... A plum! There. Pepper is in charge of the lucky dip. Roll up, roll up for your lucky dip. Moo! Hello, Pepper. Hello, Mr. Bull. You've got a green face. I'm an apple. Ooh, would you like to try the lucky dip? Okay. What do I do? Just pull a prize out of the barrel. Everyone a winner. Mr. Bull has won a dolly. Can I have a go? Mrs. Cat has won a digger. Oh, do you want to swap? No, no thank, thank you. you. Mr. Bull and Mrs. Cat like their lucky dip prizes. <laughs> <laughs> roll up, roll up. Freddy Fox is in charge of the mummies and daddies race. Thank you. It's all to raise money for a new school roof. I'm quite good at running. <laughs> It's not running, Daddy. It's a sack race. Oh. You have to get in the bag and jump over there. <sniffs> as fast as you can. Right. On your marks, get set, go! Oh. And they've fallen down. Oh. And they're back up again. Hooray! Oh. Oh. Fun, wasn't it? Yes, lots, lots of, of fun. fun. But really, we must thank the children for all their hard work. Thank, thank you, children. children. And we have raised enough money to buy a new school roof. Again. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Parachute jump. It is raining and the school roof is leaking again. 
Didn't I fix this roof for you before, Madame Gazelle? Yes, Mr. Bull, but still it goes drippity drip drip. It's probably a broken roof tile. I wonder if it's this one. Has the dripping stopped? No, it's dripping more. Maybe these are the broken tiles. Is that any better? No, it's getting worse. Hmm, this is a big hole you've got here. It's going to cost a lot of money to fix. Oh, dear. Where shall we get the money to mend the school roof this time? My daddy did a parachute jump for charity. He floated down and made lots of money. Hooray! Good idea, Pedro. Hands up who thinks their mummy or daddy would like to do a parachute jump. My mummy. My, 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 my daddy. My daddy. My daddy. My we need my just one. Pepper and George have arrived back home. Mummy, the school roof is leaking again. Is it, darling? Yes. Madam Gazelle says it needs a lot of money to mend. Yes, yes, I'm sure it does. She asked if somebody's mummy or daddy would jump out of an aeroplane. Oh, I hope you didn't say daddy would do it, Pepper. You know he doesn't like heights. But you don't mind heights, do you, Mummy? I'm fine with heights. Good. Oh. Thank you, Mummy Pig, for agreeing to jump from an aeroplane. What? But I've never done it before. You'll be fine. Remember, it is for the children. Oh, in that case, of course I'll do it. Hooray for Mummy Pig! It is the day of Mummy Pig's parachute jump. I'm still not sure I really want to do this. It's all in a good cause, Mummy Pig. <laughs> But I don't know how to jump out of an aeroplane. Don't worry. You'll get lots of training first. Hello, Mummy Pig. Mr Rabbit is the parachute trainer. This is a parachute. It will help you float through the air after you jump. Should I practice that? Practice what? Jumping. Why not? There. You're a natural. Is that it? Yes. You are now fully trained. Hooray! <laughs> All aboard! I'm still a tiny bit worried about this jump, Daddy Pig. It's OK, Mummy Pig. I'll come up in the plane with you. Good luck, Mummy! Don't worry, Mummy Pig. Remember, you've got a parachute. Yes, Daddy Pig. Oh, we are a long way from the ground! Oh, oh dear! Oh. Daddy Pig has fallen out of the plane! There she goes! No, wait! That's Daddy Pig! Uh. Wait for me, Daddy Pig! Whee! Mummy Pig has jumped! She is going to rescue Daddy Pig! Uh. Got you! Oh, she's got him! Hooray! My mummy to the rescue! Thank you for saving me, Mummy Pig. Oh, Teddy Pig, you're starting to slip. Mr Bull has just finished mending the school roof. Lovely job. It'll last for years. I can't hold on. Ah, Daddy! <laughs> Is Daddy Pig all right? Ho, oh, oh, ho, I'm fine. Good, because you'll need to do that parachute jump again. What? To raise the money to fix this new hole in the school roof. Oh, all right. Hooray for Daddy Pig! <laughs> the Aquarium. Pepper is feeding Goldie the fish. Goldie isn't eating. She looks a bit sad. I think she is lonely. She hasn't got any fish friends. Maybe Goldie could visit the aquarium. What's the aquarium? The aquarium is a place where there are lots of fish. Shall we go to the aquarium, Goldie? <laughs> that means yes. The family have brought Goldie the fish 
to the aquarium. I hope we can find Goldie, your friend. I'm sure we will, Peppa. The aquarium has every type of fish. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello. How many tickets, please? Two grown-ups and two children. And one fish, please. The fish goes free. Does the aquarium have every type of fish? Oh, yes. Probably. Good. We're looking for a friend for Goldie. Well, I hope you find one. Enjoy the aquarium. Thank, Thank you. you. The first room has a tank full of little fish. Fishy! Wow! There are millions of teeny fish. Fishy, fishy, fish, fish, swimming in the sea. Who will be a fishy friend for my fish, Goldie? <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Could any of these be Goldie's friend? Hmm. No, they are too small. Let's see what fish are in the next room. OK. Here is Candy Cat and her family. Hello, Candy. Hello, Peppa. Meow. What are you doing here? We come here all the time. It's better than watching TV. We like fish. <laughs> <laughs> We've come to find a friend for Goldie the fish. Oh, what's in this tank? I can't see anything. Oh, oh, Daddy Pig, there's a fish right in front of you. Where? Whoa! It is a very big fish. Wow! wow. <laughs> Do you think this fish could be a friend for Goldie? No. It is too big. Never mind. Let's go to the next room. What's in this tank? Dinosaur. George thinks he has seen a dinosaur. It's not a dinosaur, George. It's a funny kind of fish called a seahorse. You know lots about fish. Yes, I like fish. <laughs> Can the seahorse be Goldie's friend? Uh, no, it's too dinosaur-y. One more room to go. Oh, what's in this tank? Nothing. It's just green slime. Look. That green slime is algae. There must be some sort of fish in here. Whoa! There's a fish with big, long ears. It's a rabbit fish. It is Miss Rabbit, wearing a diving costume. Ooh. She is cleaning the fish tank. <coughs> Miss Rabbit is saying hello. <coughs> it is difficult to talk underwater. <coughs> hello, Miss Rabbit. That was the last fish tank. Oh, we haven't found a friend for Goldie. What's in the next room? This is the Aquarium Cafe. Oh, goody! My favourite room. Hello, Peppa. Did you find a friend for Goldie? No. Oh, who's that? That's just Ginger, my pet goldfish. He loves the aquarium. Ho, oh, oh. ho! It looks like Goldie's found a friend after all. Goldie isn't lonely anymore. Hooray! And Goldie can visit Ginger any time she wants. <laughs> Basketball! It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper and her friends are in the school playground. <laughs> Children! Today, we have a special person coming to teach you basketball. Ooh. Hello! Daddy! It isn't home time yet. We've got a special teacher coming today. That's me. I'm the coach. A basketball teacher is called a coach. Ooh. That's clever, Daddy. Pepper, call me Coach. OK, Daddy Coach. Does anyone know how to play basketball? No. It's fun. You have to run, bounce the ball and throw it through the hoop. Wow! Easy peasy. Oh. It is not as easy as it looks. To play basketball, you need to train hard and keep fit. Are you fit, Daddy Coach? Yes. 
I'm super fit. But, Daddy Coach, you've got a big tummy. This tummy is pure muscle. <laughs> First, I'll teach you how to get the ball from here to here. I can do that. No, Danny. You can't use your feet. That's football. Danny Dog likes football. In basketball, you bounce the ball with your hands, like this. Who wants a go? Me, me, me! Susie Sheep is bouncing the basketball very carefully. Well done, Susie. Now everyone try. Everyone is learning how to bounce the ball. <laughs> now I'll teach you tackling. What's tackling? Tackling is trying to get the ball from another player, like this. Try and get the ball from me, George. <laughs> George is very good at tackling. Now throw the ball through the hoop. <laughs> you need just a bit more training there, George. <laughs> Let's have a little practice game. Split into two teams. <laughs> Boys against girls. <laughs> the girls are in one team, the boys are in the other. That's not fair. We've got little ones on our team. Don't worry, the boys' team will still win. Yeah, we're a super team. <whistles> ah. Emily Elephant is very good at reaching high with her trunk. Emily's using her trunk. It's not... There. Shush, Peppa. She's on our side. Oh, yes, that is fair. <coughs> it's not fair. We want Emily on our team. No, she's in our team. Stop arguing. You can all be in the same team. OK. <laughs> the children are all in one big team. Oh, but who will we play? Um, well... Hello. <coughs> The parents have come to take the children home. I know. You can play the grown-ups. But they are bigger than us. Ah, but you've been taught basketball by Daddy Coach. Yes. Let's play them. We're the children's team. Yay! We're the grown-ups team. All right! I'm quite good at cricket. Yes. Well, this is basketball. You throw the ball through the hoop. But you can only use your hands. Or your trunk. But not your feet. Ready, steady, go! Mr Elephant has the ball. Tackled by George. Pass to Zoe Zebra. To Richard Rabbit. And Pepper throws it through the hoop. Yippee! The children have won. Thanks to Daddy Coach. <laughs> <laughs>